Inside Out by Boris and Yola Kujaya Ryan. Wormy, a regular garden worm, was happily munching through a red apple that had fallen from a nearby tree, when all of a sudden the apple was being knocked and pecked. Wormy poked his head out of the apple. He could not believe his eyes when he saw a penguin pecking at his apple. Wormy was not happy. The penguin, who introduced himself as Pengi, explained that he was hungry after having escaped the zookeeper's van by jumping off the back. After sharing tales of their lives and where they'd come from, Wormy and Pengi were keen to visit each other's home. Pengi explained to Wormy that he would need to travel far to get to the land edge that is so cold that it turns into ice. Wormy told Pengi of his life underground and shared with him how he wiggles his way deep into soil to find nice places to build a home. Pengi and Wormy wished each other luck for the journey. Pengi made his way deep underground, below the grass and past the tree roots to discover a whole new world of creatures and creepy crawlies. He enjoyed meeting new people and experiencing new things, but he still missed his home and dreamt of the fish dinners his mum would prepare for him. Wormy also enjoyed his stay on the ice, which was so different to his home of soft, warm soil. He missed his home too, and dreamt often of his soil-filled home and his creepy crawlies' friends. Living in each other's environment got increasingly more difficult for Pengi and Wormy. As winter arrived, the soil got harder and harder to wiggle through, and Pengi found himself stuck in the frozen soil. Wormy, who had learned to swim in the sea to catch fish to eat, had not yet learned that he was too small to swim away from the large whales. While swimming for food, a huge whale gobbled him up. He swished around in the whale's large stomach, frightened and alone. Inside the whale, Wormy was getting more and more worried, until a large gush of water pushed him up and threw the whale's spout. Wormy was flung up into the air and landed with a thump on the edge of the warm, dry land. Wormy couldn't believe his luck. He was home! Whilst Pengi spent many cold weeks stuck down in the frozen soil, unable to budge. It wasn't until a little boy, who was playing in the snow, threw a snowball high into the air that landed above Pengi and cracked the ice. The boy ran over and discovered Pengi trapped in the ice. He pushed the block of ice to the water's edge and pushed him over the bank into the sea. The warm waters melted the ice to release Pengi, who was happy to be swimming in the ocean again. Wormy and Pengi made their way back to their homes. They were really pleased to be back with their family and friends, eating the food that they enjoyed and sleeping in their own beds. They each felt lucky to have met one another and to have experienced a different way of life. They made plans to visit one another, but were equally happy to be back at home.